took an abandoned general store and turned it into a Christmas wonderland, Santa's workshop. Now let's break down the editing timeline for that. All right, so we're gonna go through and look at the whole timeline for this project. Now I'm gonna go through and watch with you and just kind of talk about the experiences that took place working on this video and some small details you might not have noticed. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. But you know what? Actually, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna light a candle. Yeah, I know I gotta fix up my, my setup, add some stuff, but for now, uh, let's just have a candle. All right, set that over there. And let's get straight into the video. All right, started from zero and let's watch. We took an abandoned general store and turned it into a Christmas wonderland, Santa's workshop. 427 individual items, bikes, action figures, dolls, stuffed animals, video games, Legos, sports balls, and anything a kid could want. Are you excited? Yay! And here's the Okay, so that alone took me about a lot of hours just to complete the first 15 seconds. Uh, and the reason for this is because we went through multiple ways we could start the video, meaning that we would build, put effects on certain clips, ended up not working right. And so we would go for other clips to start off with and so on and so on. And so we did that multiple times to get the right look that we wanted. And now if you, if you want to see it sped up, but if you want to see the full timeline being put together, I have a video of that on my channel as well. I'll put it at the end of this or in the description or put a little thing uh, that you can check that out. But we went through multiple ways to start the video. And so this alone took me about, I can't, I don't know the exact number, but it took me a lot of hours just to get settled with this because we'd go back and forth on the start here. Uh, but you know, highlights, we took an highlights the building shows you what's being transformed and in general store spins around, right? The building's green, red and green, pretty and turn it into a Christmas. And then got some particles here, not necessarily snow, but you know, magical particles rendered. <laughs> Uh, now it is 3D tracks, so the camera movement is there whenever it's moving. Into a Christmas Wonderland, Santa's workshop. Got some fun transitions going on. 427 individual items, bikes, action figures, dolls, stuffed animals, video games, More. Legos, sports balls, More. and anything a kid could want. Are you excited? Yay! And here's the kicker. Everything. And now right here for this clip. The music is going on. Well, the music starts wherever it transforms. We took an abandoned right? general. It's silent. There's crickets. There's a lot of uh, sound effects here. <laughs> and we took an abandoned general store and music starts up. Turned it into a Christmas Wonderland, really Santa's workshop. 427 no, individual fast. items, bikes, action figures, dolls, stuffed animals, video games, Legos, sports balls, and anything a kid could want. Are you excited? And then the person gets to breathe for a second whenever the music kind of stops for a second and, you know, it's kind of just the main clip. So they get a little breather after about 14 seconds. And so that's a, that's a, one of the ideas behind cutting the music and adding clips and 
going back and forth, stuff like that. Continue. And here's the kicker. Everything in this store is 100% free. Again, another breather, silent. And uh, this one's a lot more subtle because it's actually quiet. It doesn't have a kid yelling. <laughs> silent for a second. And then that's also what transitions into the more serious portion of explaining the community and the area and the reason why we're doing this. And this is starting within the first 30 seconds. Do you already know what's happening in the video? We built our toy store in Alamo, Georgia, because the average family income highlighted the state, Georgia. Store in Alamo, Zooms Georgia. In. Uh, and I added the sound effect where it kind of sounds like it's the text is being clicked on. Right? I got it right here. So this right here is like a light switch being clicked on. And so I added that throughout the video. You'll be able to see it. But this is just kind of something. Christmas lights, you know, an idea. So I went with it. Alamo, Georgia, because the highlights the this is the specific building that they that they transformed on the map. The average family income here is about twenty thousand dollars per year. Circle it. Make sure you here. see a quarter of the entire county lives below the poverty line, in part because there's a large prison population here. But we came here to serve our fellow Americans, no matter who they are. We share a country together. There are neighbors these days. The Which what do you guys think of this scrolling <laughs> timeline here? I think it's pretty. Uh, helpful especially for this video specifically because we're able to just go through and watch it but new final cut update but we came here to serve our fellow americans no matter who they are we share a country together there are neighbors these days there's plenty of attention on other countries around the world but we forget that millions of americans need help too and some of them live right here in alamo georgia and so right here we got it which if you guys ever want to see anything specific specific effects or how to's in a sense uh just leave a comment and i will consider certain sections and stuff like that but anyway these days there's plenty of attention on other countries around the world but we right here from the town is zooms These days, out there's plenty of attention on other world. countries around the world, but we forget that millions of Americans need help too. Right, fades, and the world's still spinning. And some of them, and then it goes across the world back to the same live town. Right here in Alamo, Georgia. Let's take care of our own country first. Now you're going to see this a lot throughout the video, but. <laughs> Pretty much, this is a timer, self-explanatory, <laughs> till it opens, just to kind of have you somewhat, in a sense, on the edge of your seat of what you're waiting for in the video. You're waiting to see everybody's reaction, the store opening, transformation, stuff like that. So we give you a specific number countdown to kind of remind you, okay, you're waiting for this, right? And so about 50 seconds in, within the first minute, you see it. Of course you can't build a right. sand. Again, moment of silence to transition and also give you a little breather. Kind of settle down. Of course you can't build a Santa's workshop without Santa. And luckily Santa Claus Georgia is just a few minutes down the road from our toy store. Where's Santa? Toys to give away these kids. All right, let's go do it. Thank God, there's Santa Claus, Georgia. This is almost as tight as my sled. This is a uh, Nissan sled. I'm sorry. <laughs> Little funny spot here. Cut the music. This is almost as tight as my sled. This is a uh, Nissan sled. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
And so you don't notice a lot of just the regular eye or person watching this. You don't realize small details are added in the edit that were added post-production. And so, for instance, going back. Of course, you can't build a Santa's workshop without Santa, and luckily Santa Claus Georgia is just a few minutes down the road from our toy store. Where's Santa? For instance, there's a zoom out here from Santa. So center or Santa is centered in the frame, and the camera's zooming out, and then it'll pan. Hey, right. We got all these toys to give away to these kids. All right, let's go do it. Thank God there's Santa Claus, Georgia. <laughs> and then again here, to kind of show the store, the camera zooms out again from being zoomed in. <laughs> and so, revealing the store. Welcome to Alamo, Georgia. We are here in Santa's workshop, Christmas Wonderland. Our toy store, which started off as an empty warehouse just a few days ago, now houses nearly 500 toys around the store. So how does this free toy store work? First, the children get a ticket. Then they select their toy. That ticket can be exchanged for any toy in the store, and then they go see Santa. Merry Christmas. Are you ready? So... <laughs> Again, showing the before and afters to kind of remind you what it was before. Started off as an empty warehouse just a few days ago, now houses nearly 500 toys. And obviously highlighting the specific areas. Uh, I have it zooming out the camera adds some movement because it's a still shot now houses nearly 500 toys so around out, the store revealing, so how does highlighting everything and then he asked a question of what a person would ask while watching the video you know how does the toy store work and then he goes into the explanation and how it works. How does this free toy store work? First, the children get a ticket. Then, now, I added a highlight to the ticket. Just a small little subtle thing. Just, you know, for a cool effect and showing you highlighting the ticket itself. Here, red. Then, they select their toy. That ticket can be exchanged. And right here, ticket. another highlight, but it's green, giving him the ticket for the toy. Be exchanged for any toy in the store, and then they go see Santa. Merry Christmas. Are you ready? Let's go. With Santa in place, we were almost ready to open up the store for the entire town. But first, we want to do something special for some special families. Again, reminding you the reason why you're watching the video or what to be excited for having a countdown there reminds you that, okay, they're going to open the store in 30 minutes. And so I want to see that. Right. And it's also another good way to transition into other portions of the video again with different music, different stuff like that, which music is everything. Make sure you spend time Make sure you spend time looking for music because music really does set the tone and just everything with a video in general. It can really make a make or break a a look on how you want it and how you want somebody to feel while watching it. Because that's one of the main purposes of editing is to portray emotion through what you're putting together. And so music is a big part of that. Make sure you're paying attention and spend some time looking for music if you have to. For some special families.
Brody is two years old. Brody's father was an Alamo police officer who was slain in the line of duty, protecting his community. We thought Brody would like his own police car. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, it's more unique than you guys know. It really does. Hey, Merry Christmas. The local police department and police chief showed up to christen Brody's new police cruiser and send this boy off right. He's going to get a police escort home? <laughs> It'll be fine, I want Brody. <laughs> okay, so that first section there, again, the music is a lot more lighthearted, uh, wholesome. But a few things that you might not have noticed very few minor details which my brother actually suggested and he did a whole video about recording this because he was the videographer and he recorded this uh, he's the DP director of photography and he filmed this he was over filming this whole thing and so if you want to see that video, I'll put, again, a link in the description or pop up something over here, show it at the end, and you can check that out. Now here, there is a slow zoom in, right, that is added in post because, you know, he's doing a bunch of cute little little kid stuff hanging out in the police car. And now a small little detail that is added on is, I don't know if you know what it is, but black pro mist is generally something that is added with, I don't do a lot of footage stuff. So, you know, don't get on to me if I'm wrong about this, but something that you put over the lens of a camera that in a sense fogs the highlights to make it look a little bit more dreamy. And so I did that for a few clips and you're actually going to see it a lot more later on in this video. But if you, t if you look at the, highlights and like the bulbs and stuff that's wrapped around this is with it off and it's with it on and so it adds a little bit more of a glow blur type fogginess around the highlights uh, that's very subtle and another thing that is also added is the lens flare from the from the car light right here that's added in a post see the flare going right here that's added to kind of give it you know just a cool cool little thing see without with without with just to kind of give it make it more of a cool shot i bet you didn't know that all right, now on to the next section. Dalton has been a volunteer firefighter in Alamo for 15 years. He has three children and a newborn. We thought it'd be nice for Dalton and his wife to get free diapers for life from our friends at Every Life Diapers. We reached out to a few other fans. Now, again, uh, some of the Black Pro Mist is added in these shots. Very subtle. 
but it is there. <laughs> we reached out to a few other families in the community who are in need this Christmas, welcomed them into the store early to pick out a toy. I don't think the kids mind it at all. Do you want to go see Santa? Kind of back. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Say Merry Christmas. By the time we were ready to open the store, hundreds of families had shown up in a line. Again, reminding you that the store is about to open in five minutes now. Oh my goodness. All right, so. Same effect, the building's highlighted. You have five minutes left, and you really want to see the doors open. Transitioning into other music, it fades out. So on, so on. By the time we were ready to open the store, hundreds of families had shown up, and a line stretched around the block. You want toys? Yeah! yeah. You guys excited? Showing excitement, really building up the hype to get ready to be in this building. Are you ready to see Santa's workshop? Before we open the store, one quick thing. How do we afford all this? Another question that is probably asked throughout watching this video. And so he asked the question and he is answering. How do we afford all this? And again, uh, I added the light on effect. How do we afford all this? The answer is you. Nearly 10 million people subscribing to our channels and watching our content makes this possible. So thank you for bringing Christmas magic to your fellow Americans. Now let's go open the store. Okay. Now this is the big reveal. I guess not really a reveal because you've already seen it, but this is the big opening of everybody being allowed in the store, having a fun time, nice and wholesome. Fellow Americans, now let's music fades, complete silence except for his voice. Let's go open the store. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, now before we get into this section, something that I want to highlight here is, so we added the ticking, right? But something that you might not have noticed in the background is the camera is slowly zooming faster and faster the closer we get to one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, right? Which is building more tension without you even knowing. Adding faster movement, zooming in, getting ready, because this is the big moment in the video that you've been waiting for. Right? Zoom, zooms faster, faster, faster. And then... I added a zoom out. So like it's, you're relieved that the doors are finally opening, right? Zooming in tighter gives you the like focus, the idea of focusing on something, but zooming out is more revealing, kind of like what I mentioned earlier. And so that's what I added here. Right, zooming out. I added a slow zoom out here. It's very subtle. You can't really tell as much because the camera's moving back. It's handheld. And then the, <laughs> the sound effects. This is all the lights, the 
Great. The ticking. And then added a whoosh and added a riser here. Right, and then the whoosh. Right. Okay, so going back through this section. Which, if you're wondering why it's gray, that's because I just thought instead of having to worry about, you know, scrolling through and the sound being annoying, I could just show you the visuals <clears throat> and cancel out everything. Um, so going back to the start here. You got it starting, right? Well, obviously, but. So going back to the start here, the camera is slowly zooming out as they're running in, it's in slow motion. And it's very, what's the word? Like cinematic in a sense. The music, at least, change is very very heartwarming, which would be the best way to put this whole section entirely, which is what you want it to be. It's not, you know, it's not a Black Friday, everybody's going crazy. This is for kids, and that's how we wanted to make it feel, is giving kids presents, and them being happy in the true joy of Christmas in this section. And so again, you can see the, the, the highlights here. More of a dreamy effect around the highlights. Christmassy, dreamy, you know, magical moment. And that's over pretty much this whole section because of the way it's built out being cinematic and heartwarming and stuff like that. So you go through, there's a lot of zooms, slow motion, zooms here, zooming in, zoom out, a lot of that stuff just sprinkled throughout. And so you finally get through that section. And once the music starts to pick up a little bit more, we added people saying Merry Christmas. Thank you, Santa. All of that stuff, which we can look at now.
right? It just, it really, it really makes you very heartwarming. It makes you very happy seeing all of this stuff. But I especially like this. The music slows down, right? It goes to just on the track. It goes just to just the piano and it ver it focuses on this shot right here of the water tower showing the place Alamo and yeah let's look at this section we'd never been to Alamo Georgia before but they welcomed us like family by the time we left we were family or at least neighbors you're supposed to love your neighbor but bad forces in America want us to hate each other they profit off division ignore them this Christmas we live in a great country. This place is a gift. And you know the reason we give presents on Christmas is to remember the gift of Jesus Christ. Kind of amazing what a little gift can do. Okay. So final section to go over right here. I don't know what it is, but I really like how it gives you a second. The music doesn't go away, but it calms down and it's really focusing on this shot a lot longer because you just went from back to back shots that are lasting like one second each, right? You can see right here in the yellow. One second each, it's cutting through, everybody going through, and then the transition over is a shot that's five seconds long. And so that gives it more focus, in a sense, letting clips breathe on the ones you, you know, want people to really focus on, and which this is this right here, because... We've never been to Alamo, Georgia before. Right, he starts explaining everything and the whole purpose. And it and it sits on the shot for a couple seconds and then it goes into his voiceover. We've never been to Alamo, Georgia before, but they welcomed us like family. By the time we left, we were family, or at least neighbors. You're supposed Right, so it's cutting, it's cutting to the music, and then again here, I added the light switch sound whenever the text popped up. Ignore them this Christmas. We live in a great country. This place is a gift. And you know the reason mm -hmm. we give presents on Christmas is to remember the gift of Jesus Christ. Again, the sound effects of Jesus Christ. Kind of amazing. What is Beat cuts, ending on the starting shot that started that whole sequence of the kids running in. What a little gift can do. An end on the Santa wing. Now, I don't know if you know this, but this might blow your mind, but that uh, ding right there was added afterwards. I know it's crazy, but <laughs> I added a, we added a ding and then the light to kind of edit it off. Cause we thought, you know, nice, cool thing. And then end with a Bible verse because that's what Christmas is all about. It's all about the birth of Jesus Christ and Ending it off with that is, in my opinion, one of the best ways you can end a Christmas video, especially like this one. And so that is a editing breakdown on Benny Johnson's Christmas store. And yeah, maybe you learned a few things. Maybe you learned a few things that you didn't know about. And some subtle stuff. And so again, if you want any effects or how to specifically, leave some comments. 
if you want a certain video, you know, comment down below. And also, my brother has made a video about the whole process of recording this and putting this together pre-production, right? Because you need, you need all of it, pre-production, post-production, production. And he covers the pre-production and the production of it because he recorded it, right? And so if you want to check that out, I got something somewhere on the screen and you can check out that video. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you at the next edit.